Hey everybody, it's Eileen from basicblogtips.com. This is a video response to Lisa Irby, and it's about adding a Google custom search to your blog. Now let's swing over to Lisa's forum, Website Babble. Well, Lisa has this wonderful forum called Website Babble, and she posted this video about installing a custom search on WordPress. And the reason why we need a custom search on WordPress, because let's face it, WordPress, the search function that they have in WordPress sucks. <laughs> so Lisa's absolutely right. We need a custom search. And at the end of her video, she said that if you have an easier way to do it, let her know. So here's the easier way that I've used to add a custom search. Now, the caveat is you need to have an AdSense account, otherwise this method will not work. So start off by logging into your AdSense account. So from the uh, AdSense account, you're gonna select My Ads, and then you'll come down here to Search and Custom Search Engines. Then go ahead and fill in the title for your search engine. I just made one up. Be careful and be sure to select only sites I select. And then you just add your sites down in here. You know, I just filled in myblog.com, but of course you fill in your URL there. If you have a YouTube channel, fill in the URL of your YouTube channel. Then uh, if you have any other blogs, like in my case, I have a blogger blog. I filled that in as well then you can go ahead and fill in your keywords. And I always just click off use safe search. This next section just defines which country version of Google you want. Most people are gonna want the United States version, but if you are from a different country, you may want to show the google.fr if you're from France. Okay, the rest of that is pretty self-explanatory. And custom channels, you can set that up if you want. The search box style, you're gonna put a widget on your sidebar for the search box so people will be able to type in. So you can customize the style of that and how many characters they can type in. You don't want it too long. It all depends upon the width of your sidebar or just your exact preference for the design of the search box and you just pick whichever one you want. Then you can style your ads if you want. You can match it with your uh, existing content on your blog. You can also match it with some other ads that you've set up in Google so that you don't have to go through all the, you know, picking the colors and just go over to some ad blocks that you set up, you know, in the past and use those same settings. Personally, I'm not too concerned about what the search results look like in terms of matching it to my blog, because I think that once somebody's on my blog and if they're searching for a specific topic, they're probably not really paying attention too much to the design and the aesthetics. But if you disagree, you go ahead and spend the time to go ahead and set that up. Now, as Lisa described in her video, you need to make sure that you have set up a page on your blog for these search results to display. And I think it just makes sense to name that page search results. And so you're going to pick this that you want this to show up in an iframe, and then you will put the URL of your search results page in this box, like so. But of course this would be your own URL. And then you would set the width. Now, um, it depends upon the design of your blog. You can set it at a width that will fit in with uh, the width of the page on your blog. I think 800 is fine. That seems to be the default and that's exactly what I use. Now you can save and get the code. And this is the code here that you're gonna add to your widget, the search box code. And this is the code that you're going to add to the HTML version of your WordPress blog search results page. So let me show you how it looks over on basic blog tips. 
Okay, now we're back over on basicblogtips.com and let's just do a search for one of my favorite topics, which is YouTube. And you'll see that the ads appear up at the top of the page. And then there's some of my most popular categories and titles on YouTube. Here's one that even came from basic podcasting tips. So that's how you set up a Google custom search on your blog. If you have an AdSense account. Hey, since we're on my YouTube channel, you might as well go ahead and subscribe and you can keep up to date with all the latest in blogging, YouTube, social media, whatever you want. <laughs> I'll talk to you soon. It's Eileen from basicblogtips.com. Peace.